Hey guys, Clint Darden here from ClintDarden.com with EdeFTS.com and of course the House of Biceps Nation. Nation, thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you're watching all my videos. I had a question that came in from someone who wishes to be remained anonymous uh, for obvious reasons. Um, he simply asked, is Jim Wendler real? Um, you know, I'm going to let you in on some deep, dark secrets uh, about Dave Tate and EliteFTS.com. Uh, you know, this video is probably going to get me banned from EliteFTS.com, probably going to lose my sponsorship, uh, and probably someone's going to show up at my door with a shotgun at some point. Uh, I'll probably just vanish a few days after this video. Makes it on YouTube, so you want to make sure and save it, uh, you know, and, and, and store it somewhere, and then uh, uh, just tell my wife that I love her. So, here's the deal. Jim Wendler does not exist. Uh, years and years ago, Dave figured out that if, that if EliteFTS.com was going to flourish, that it had to be more than just him, that he couldn't do it on his own. He could write all these stories and it would sound great, but that wasn't enough to make EliteFTS.com what it is today. It was never going to be great. It was never going to be an empire. It was never going to be uh, one of the world leaders uh, in strength sports. So what did he do? He had to create something. He had to create someone. So he took everything awesome that he could possibly think of in the back of his mind, and he had to write it down and put it all together. And he sent it to Marvel Comics, and the guys over at Marvel sat down and thought, man, what can we do? Because it has to be something that every man aspires to be. It has to be something that every woman secretly wants but would never admit that she wants it. It had to be something awesome. It had to be something with the lovability of Mickey Mouse but the batitude of Batman. And they came up with Jim Wendler. You notice when Jim Wendler began training, shaved face, bloat, huge traps, thousand pound squat, thousand pound squat back in the day. Not with the gear we've got now, but back in the day. And this guy supposedly since then has just done it all. Decided to get lean, decided to get in shape, wrote books, grew the best beard you'll ever see, got a motorcycle, tattoos, drinks Jim Beam, I'm telling you, dude, it's Batman in a squat suit. I mean, it's awesome. You think he really exists? Doesn't exist. He's a robot. He's a figment of your imagination. It's all in your mind. Who did he live with? Jason Pegg. Which brings me to my next point. Who's the new guy at EliteFTS.com that's taken off? Harry Selko. Harry doesn't exist. Jim's kind of doing his own thing. He's moved off, got married, getting his life together in another direction. Supposedly the supposed Jim Wendler guy. Who pops up on EliteFTS.com with posts every day. Posts that doesn't make sense to anybody, but he's the most followed person at EliteFTS.com. We take a guy again, give him an awesome beard, lives somewhere out west, living in some awesome house with some awesome job, awesome wife and awesome kids, loves an awesome football team. You think that guy really exists? No way! Have you read his training journal? <clears throat> Walked in the gym today, uh, picked out the coolest exercise I could possibly invent, worked up to 85% for sets of five, had a couple reps left in the tank, my beard said we should call it a day, but I said, no way. I thought about back when I read Jason Pegg's training journal yesterday, some awesome stuff that he said, and it totally inspired me. So I knocked out some glute ham raises, some good mornings, some traps, did some prowler sprints, checked out all the other wimps in the gym, doing their tie bow and their crossfit, sat back and thought about how awesome I am. Now, do you think he really exists? He's been a member of Elite FTS for how many years? And nobody's ever really seen him? Come on. Harry doesn't exist. And he reads Jason Pegg's... He reads Jason Pegg's training journal. Jason Pegg! I mean, come on! Jason, again, no beard. Grows a beard. Grows an awesome beard catch his beard on fire on July 4th of all days. Trim's beard. Grows beard again. Gets a job. Yeah, right. Trim's beard down. 
This stuff doesn't happen, guys. These guys are not real. Jim Windler, Harry, Jason, they don't exist. It's all a figment of your imagination. It's a plot by the man, Dave Tate, selling you stuff. I mean, he's selling you an idea that you too can have an awesome beard and be great and do cool stuff and live in exotic places like California and Texas and Ohio and have an awesome beard. And that you can read other people's training journals and then you too can do 85% for five on the coolest exercise known to man. I'm telling you, it's all a plot and I'm exposing it. Just like I exposed the fat grips plot by Dave Tate and the bloat meter, the bloat gauge plot by Dave Tate again. I'm telling you, I don't know what's coming up next. I don't know who's coming in next, but be careful. Be very, very careful.